Well, hey there. Care for some Nettling Daily? I thought so. AMD has refreshed their Kaveri APU line with the Godaveri, Godaveri series of processors. Godaveri retains Kaveri's basic design with up to four Steamroller x86 cores, up to 512 Radeon GCN 1.1 graphics cores, and compatible with the FM2 Plus motherboard socket. Apparently the new APUs will need a motherboard upgrade, however, as Biostar just announced updated versions for three of their FM2 Plus boards. And curiously, all the new processors use the same naming scheme as their predecessors, so the A10-7850K is replaced by the A10-7850K. So upgrading's easy! In other processor news, leaked documents have revealed that Qualcomm's upcoming Snapdragon 818 will feature 10 cores. Say what? The chipset includes an Adreno 532 GPU, four 1.2 GHz low power cores, two 1.6 GHz mid power cores, and four 2 GHz high power cores. This follows another leak claiming that MediaTek is developing its own 2.3 GHz 10 core processor. Man, they're just... More cores! We need more cores! New research implies that certain solid-state drives can lose data when they're left in storage, not connected to power. The study found that in general, an unpowered SSD could retain its data for about a year when stored at 25 degrees Celsius, but that time is halved for every five degrees added. It's important to note that consumer drives did much better than enterprise drives, and it's also important to note that the study was conducted by Alvin Cox, the chairman of Seagate, which makes you guessed it, hard drives. So probably an ulterior motive in making this study, but just to be safe, don't store backups on random drives stuffed in the closet. Get them in a NAS or an external enclosure and check on them every once in a while. They, they probably miss you. Quick bits. Speaking of SSDs, a company called Fixstar is launching a six terabyte one in July, apparently. They already have a three terabyte model out there. Nintendo is currently investigating removing region locking for games on its upcoming NX console, something PlayStation and Xbox have done already. Tomorrow, Google will suspend its map maker feature that allows users to submit changes to Google Maps following a prank submission showing this image. <laughs> And everyone's talking about this new survival MMO called Ark Survival Evolved because it's got dinosaurs and you can ride them and craft and stuff and also dragons? What? I'm just gonna wait until it launches on Steam Early Access in June to see what all the hubbub is about. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Hello, Gerline. It is your birthday. I wish you a pleasant one. If you haven't heard about the giant earthquake in Nepal recently, you've probably been living under a rock. It's destroyed entire villages, and there are lots of people who need help. You can help NCIX donate money to the Red Cross by tipping points on the NCIX forums. For every 100 points tipped, NCIX will donate $2 until we reach our $4,000 donation goal. And on top of that, the Government of Canada is matching donations until May 25th, so our efforts count that much more. Click here for the forum post with all the details. No joke on this one. Sometimes you have to be serious. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. We'll see you next time. Is that, is that as low as it goes?